So first of all, here's the definition of the what we call the natural logarithm. We looked at the common log. That's what we've been using. The log is the common log. This is the natural logarithm. It only exists with a base of e. Okay, you use the log for any other base, base 10, base 2, base 8, base 0.5. Use the log for that, but if the base is e, okay, you've seen, you should have seen e before as the base of an exponential, okay. E is a special number, it has a lot of different applications. Uh, its value is about 2, I'm thinking 2.7, yeah, 2.718. Okay, is about the value of E. It has a lot of applications in biology and stuff like that. Um, but it is its own base. You have this button on your calculator. Uh, it is uh, right below the log button. Second natural log. There's the E button and the LM button. Okay, is right beside the number four. <clears throat> so, anyways, when the base is E, and you need to solve for the exponent, then you use the natural log and they say, well, why is it LN? Why is it not ML? Uh, it has to do with the Latin words for it. Okay, so it is LN. And a lot of times I write it inversely just to make sure that my L doesn't look like a 1. And you'll see that in a second. So number 2 on the worksheet is e to the negative 2p is equal to 71. Same premise that we've been dealing with. Isolate the exponential. This one's already isolated. Write it in logarithmic form. So in logarithmic form, because the base is e, I'm going to use the natural log. It's the exact same way. The numbers kind of switch places. So it's the natural log of 71 is equal to negative 2p. Divide both sides by negative 2. Okay, so here's the exact answer. The negative natural log of 71 over 2. I like that form, the logarithmic form. But if you really want to know the decimal approximation for it, just use your natural log button. Make sure you close the parentheses and divide by two. So it's approximately negative point, <coughs> excuse me, negative 2.131. Oh, I wrote that correctly. Yes. <coughs> okay. Looking at like number five. You may have to isolate the exponential, like we've been doing. Subtract 1 from both sides. So we have e to the x minus 4 is equal to 36. Write it in logarithmic form using the natural log. So that's the natural log of 36 is equal to x minus 4. Add 4 to both sides. Just like with the other logarithms, you cannot change that number. Okay, this is just going to be x is equal to the natural log of 36 plus 4. And I'm not going to find the decimal here. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, let's look at number 9. <clears throat> 9e to the negative 5x plus 10 is equal to 34. Common number here. Subtract 10. Nine e to the negative five x is equal to twenty four. Divide by nine. Twenty four over nine. The root divisible by three. Eight over three. Write it in log form. The natural log of eight over three is equal to negative five x. Divide both sides by negative five. So x is equal to the negative natural log of eight over three divided by 5. And then finally, let's look at one more. Let's look at number 15. <clears throat> 6e to the 4 minus 5a plus 1 is equal to 95. So subtract 1 from both sides. 6e to the 4 minus 5a is equal to 94. Divide both sides by 6. e to the 4 minus 5a is equal to, that does not go evenly. They're both divisible by, huh? Thank you. 47 over 2. They're both divisible by 2. So 
So logarithmic form, the natural log of 47 over 3 is equal to 4 minus 5a. Subtract 4 from both sides. <clears throat> Divide by negative 5. So A is equal to, remember we don't leave that negative in the denominator. So the natural negative natural log of 47 over 3 plus 4 divided by 5 is 